To the flag and slayers. I just realized I have very nice mood lighting, like I'm half in shadow. Um, hi everybody, welcome back. In case you missed last week, the party uh, went inside the Temple of Loth where shenanigans, shenaniganery ensued. Uh, Cirrus was brought back to life. Barely. Uh, Shut up. But, I did my best. Well, no, you did it. So, you know, it's either you fail or succeed. There is no other way. Hey, Jacob. Uh, I did it all by myself. The party then learned of perhaps the reason that uh, the scepter is so important to the uh, church and temple, um, and that they might be trying to bring Loth to the Prime Material Plane. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, and that uh, the group then decided to torch the place and run, uh, and uh, they have gone to the refuge of Darius um, who is an old friend of Linares's um, and uh, that'll be where Enzo we was begin. not a fan of that he was not <laughs> <laughs> it's just sad that our go-to is always torch no I think that's a you're an evocation wizard it makes sense yeah, I don't know it's it's kind of beautiful. Beautiful. we haven't really burnt anything way. down in a while to be fair <laughs> yeah True. Also, Hunter has his camera back. I have Yay! You second, can see his beautiful face. Secondary question, Jacob. Why? Where do you sleep? Because your mattress is up against the wall. On you know, the couch. You know, sometimes you sleep on the couch, and sometimes you sleep in your room's floor because your bed frame is broken, and you haven't gotten around to fixing it. And there's a lot of stuff in sometimes. your room. Sometimes. Sometimes when you're a man, you wear stretchy pants in the privacy of your own room. Fair. I was just... you if you sleep with your head facing north. Really? Who says that? Joe. Joe who? Joe Mama? Joe Mama. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't me this time. Well. Oh shit. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys are currently in what looks like a uh, basement. Um, everybody, make a. Are we still in the city? You I'm still a sheep, well, right? We got teleported though. Not anymore. Actually, it no. It would been... be. It would have been last. It lasts for an hour. So yeah, you're still a sheep. Yeah, she was a sheep. I can't fix it. Yeah, no. It's permanent for an hour. You would either have to get hit or just stay sheep. Um. Yeah. Uh, so we teleported, right? Yeah. And now we're in a basement. Yep. But we can't tell where we are. Nope. It's underground. Like most basements. Yeah, 17. You said perception. Yes. yes. Yeah. Seventeen she, from Anzu. Uh, I Anzu can like see a, a lot. Two. Awesome. Who's making perception checks? Everybody. Oh. 
14. 10. 10. Okay. I'm adding guidance. I'm in um, 25. <laughs> You're doing things in a room. Uh, so as you guys look around, um, you notice this basement is full of um, a bunch of drying what looks like animal hides um, and different like mushrooms and leaves and, you know, kind of like an apothecary setup. You also notice um, that there is a, a alchemical station off in the corner that uh, is currently kind of bubbling and churning. Um, as you look around, you don't notice any, like, religious iconography or anything of that nature. You do see a few, like, um, large scrolls that have kind of, that have been spread out against walls, um, with, like, different arcane formulas on them. You also notice, um, where you are is in the center of the room on the circle, on, which is kind of on a raised platform. And then you notice, um, off to the side there is what looks like a, um, a divination area where um, there's a large crystal ball in the center and then there's a, uh, what you see is like a pendulum that's rotating around to the point where it's been going for so long that there's like a rut in the floor where it's carved into the stone and it's just continually rotating around uh, this crystal ball. Mm-hmm. But you also see Darius um, graying hair. That's uh, also he's like I'll be balding. Back. Yeah, go ahead. He's also balding um, on top, um, and he's kind of got like the you know, um, if you guys know that '70s show, like the Red Foreman hair, yeah. um, kind of like that. Dumbass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I love that show, even though almost everyone on it is problematic now. Um, <laughs> not Topher Grace. <laughs> not Topher Grace. Oh, I love Topher. Anyway, um, don't say. Wait, s- this is uh, this is currently the no, summer of tw- this is of September 2023. Topher Grace. Is we have no one. idea if Topher Grace was part of anything yet. As far as we know, he's <laughs> good. Unfortunately, we have to specify that in the current realm of the of the world yeah. because actors most are going, celebrities are terrible. Yeah. Anyway. Most people are. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, welcome to Nihilism Slayers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you also notice that one of his tusks is, like, chipped off. Uh, looks a little worse for wear. You see, like, a few, um, what look like pock marks on his skin. And uh, some on his hands. Uh, a few on his face. Um, you also notice, uh, Thea, you notice this. Even as a sheep. Just... Even as a sheep. <laughs> Because for some reason you rolled second highest. Um, um, you notice his eyes are kind of um, kind of glassy, like like um, glaucoma. Kinda, yeah, or like a cataract or something like that. But um, yeah, he he greets you. He says, "Um, well, I know this is a little sudden for all of you, but um." Welcome to my humble abode. You have uh, free reign uh, with the facilities. Where are we? Uh, you are still in the Underdark, if that's what you're wondering. I've been conducting research down here for the last hmm, 30, 40 years. How far yeah, from Sorry, the... I had to take a piss. Oh, no. He comes no out worries. Of the bathroom. And, and you hear a <laughs> flush noise. Uh... Of course, um, but if you need anything, please let me know. Um, are we still also, in the city, or are we... It else? depends. What city are you coming from? The one where the Festival of Loth was happening. Oh, a few of those are going on. The um, one... Can you be more specific? Linares, what city did we just come from? You know, I actually never got the name God either. damn it! Son of a bitch! We never um, got the fucking name of that goddamn city. Um, well, for right now, we can call it, it Candlestick, because it's on fire. Um, that'll work. Um, I, I, I knew the name of it. Make a history check, Anzu. It was the one that was pretty, like, a couple hours uh, in from the Dark Carnival. There's multiple of those, too. That's Son not a good a reference. Fuck! <laughs> 26. 26. 
So, Anzu, you go into your, like, mentalist mind palace, kind of like in, like, Psych or Sherlock Holmes, and you begin to kind of look around and you see everything, and then you see a sign that says, um, Spinneret. Spinneret. The name of this place is Spinneret. Oh. Well, um... I would say you're not terribly far, but you're not close. What city are we in uh, now? Uh, w w I'm not in a city. Um, here, come, come with me. And he walks out of the, um, out of the basement. To your guys' understanding, with how his vision looks, it appears as though he's blind, but he doesn't have a problem moving around. Either he is so familiar with his environment that he doesn't bump into anything, or there's some sort of other way that he sees or you know i think he's the... a fucking liar <laughs> you can think that all you want um so he walks up the stairs you see he walks with like a this old gnarled knotted cane he's gonna... um <clears throat> as you can see and it opens up and you guys can see you weren't in a basement you were in a cellar that was on the outside of the house um as it opens up, you see this massive cave structure, and you guys are sitting on what looks like a, um, like the plateau of the top of this cave, and you just see, like, faint beams of sunlight coming through the top, uh, that you can barely see. It's hundreds of feet up. Um, you can also see down low is this grove of mushrooms of multiple different colors, purples, blues, pinks, oranges, greens... Um, just kind of everywhere, and you see little underdark creatures running around, um, just kind of flitting around and everything. You see a few bats, spiders, things of that nature. Um, and, uh, you see this larger, um, looking, uh, gorilla-like creature that's kind of just climbing around and kind of, uh, collecting samples and, um... Like taking like pieces of mushrooms what, off and what that is. Uh, make a, um, make a <laughs> history uh, or nature. Well, there it's not a natural occurring creature. History, um, Arcana. I'm leaning Arcana. I'm leaning Arcana. They might be. Uh, they're both the same. So <laughs> doesn't matter. Just tell me one. Um. Go ahead. Well, let me let me get really. I am adding yeah, guidance so to myself. A faint second here. I'm not gonna roll yet. Da -da, da -da -da. Not devils. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh. Ah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Um. Make a Arcana check. We'll say an Arcana check be religion oh i got a natural 20 natural 20 okay that. so as you're seeing this thing as it's kind of climbing around um it's not a gorilla um but it has kind of the dimensions of it and you see very broad muscular shoulders big like barrel arms um with uh very large tusks uh a few like piercings and stuff along its lip uh crimson red fur uh, and it's wearing like a faint little loincloth and you see these two golden bracers on its wrists. Um, oh. you know this to be a, uh, a Barl Gura, which no. are, which oh. are large fiends. Um, they, uh, they're big boys. <laughs> uh, since you rolled a 20, I will give you a little bit more of how they are, what they are. Uh, they represent savagery and brutality of the abyss. Uh, Barl Guras uh, gather in packs to take down uh, tougher foes. They keep gruesome trophies from their victories that de de decorate their territory with such objects. Um, they look like giant orangutans. Yeah. Um, Darius. Yeah. Yes. You just have a well, Gara, just wandering around in here. Yes. Is it safe, or is it like... Well, first of all, his name is Josh. Okay. 
I'm sorry. I Josh is Josh safe? Well, is... friends call him Josh. Uh, his real name is Joshua. Um, Joshua. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I I hate you for that. That's the worst That's one. So... That's but the yes, worst. He's... Don't. I would first like to caution you: don't be prejudiced. Um, people come in all shapes, sizes, and creeds. Uh, secondly, uh, Joshua is doing very extensive research on the healing properties of mushrooms and the Underdark. Uh, he and I are colleagues. Josh. You see him, you see Joshua continuing to kind of climb between, uh, mushrooms. You see, he goes, <sighs> and he eats one and just goes down. <laughs> Interesting. You see, for a brief second, his hair all kind of stands on end like he's been shocked. And he's like, hmm. And he pulls out a little notebook and he writes down in his notebook. I want to try what he's having. <laughs> uh, but, of course, as I, as I said, you uh, have free reign of the uh, estate. And you guys see this large um, cabin that seems to have been carved out of a cluster of massive mushrooms. You see, uh, like, elevator pulley systems, kind of like Swiss Family Robinson, kind of going everywhere, connecting everything. Um, you see uh, just very um, ornate uh, detailing, and everything kind of gives off a very faint arcane resonance, almost as if, um, well, Anzu and Animus make uh, arcana checks for me. Since Thea is still a sheep. 20... <laughs> so resign. 20... <laughs> I don't know how to math uh, right now. 38. 27. 38. Um, you guys both detect arcane wards. They're scattered throughout this area. And um, Anzu, you rolled so high. Uh, there is illusion magic everywhere yeah. like everything is most likely not able to be seen outside of the area in which you're in uh as if it's very 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 strong illusion magic to the point where it's possible that someone who is not invited that would be brought in here would still be affected by the illusion hmm. been 28 instead of 38 hey, mm, still hey, still really high <laughs> Linares. Yes, so I'm pretty sure. What's our situation yeah. right now? Like, it's, well, it feels like we're just chilling. Did anyone here. get the scepter? Did we get it or no? Okay, I wasn't so allowed that's to touch the scepter. That's probably not the best thing. Um, but we do have Cirrus, even though he's a little worse for wear. Zach, as you can Zach tell. role playing his character. <laughs> as you can tell, <laughs> he doesn't oh, even know, man, buddy. Oh, man. Zach played soccer today for the he first played, time in years. He played 90 minutes of And he decided to play the whole 90 minutes. As goalie, his ankles and knees are and probably he's like, saying, he's why? he's sitting here like, oh, yeah, I'm like, I was in high school eight years later. Oh, uh, man. Anyway. Well, um, we need to figure out who the potential vessel is. Um, and then we'll need to send in a strike team to kill them or take them out, whichever one is easier. Would they not use someone who's already dead like the... Or they could they? Highly unlikely. I mean, I Highly know they unlikely. could, but... Didn't we take their... I mean, I'm a sheep, but didn't we take their potential vessel? We kidnapped her. Oh! We did! Oh, well, where is she? She's right next to me. I have her. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't know where she is. I think Zygon was carrying her. Well, that explains why. <laughs> that, there we go, yeah. And Z you see Zygon's like, Oh, yeah! And he, he holds her out. Uh, Zygon, dear, would you take her up into one of the guest rooms in uh, Darius's estate? And he said, uh, Sure, yeah. And he goes up. Okay, well, um, there's that. So we need to... Does anyone have Modify Memory? Uh, Ooh, my precious little sheep, and she pats you on the fluffy bye. head. I don't. Okay. Well, Anzu, I, you're you're our demolitions expert, dear. I I 
I'm True. proud of what you did today. It was quite explosive. No. I love it when you say that to me. <laughs> oh. It's it's just so much better when I can see Hunter's face doing the motion. Oh, there's so much sexual tension going on. Like I said last time we were here, we made love until the sun came up. And the sun never comes up down here. <laughs> <sighs> I brought it on myself. I apologize, everyone. It's and been a little while. And you fell in love with that. Every day. <laughs> it's true. Well, um, I suggest that we get some rest, and we can plan out in the morning. Depending on how Kara behaves, uh, we can figure out what to do. I believe that with a little bit of arcane trickery from our little sheep here, um... We could possibly convince her of unwanted aggression from the priestesses. Um, this is, of course, a moral gray area, and if anyone has any objections, feel free. Um, Would it help if... if sh I don't know what I'm trying to say here, because I'm not trying to make it weird. Um... Whenever I was trying to get information oh, from Anna, her... Oh, Anna, you always make it weird. Stop, stop, let me explain <laughs> what I'm saying. Never mind, I'm scratching the whole idea. I don't want to be a weirdo. Oh, you've embarrassed him, darling. <sighs> I'm sorry, Anna. I'm I sure your tried, plan will work. I let was going to say, I tried to... When she saw me in the square last, after I turned out of that weird teenage <laughs> character I was trying to play... Mm. Uh, I had turned back to Animus and was trying to save her sister. Would it help mm. if we modified to where she didn't immediately scream and throw me through a wall, and maybe she accepted me trying to help, and it just and then we got attacked, mm. attacked by the rest well, of the people. Let me consult. Because that's almost what happened, book. anyways. We did all get attacked, <laughs> and I did try to help her sister. I wish I could talk right now. <laughs> It sucks. Are you just buying a bunch? Like, what are you doing? I can't talk. <laughs> I just, oh, I mean, like, yeah, I can buy, but, like, I can't say anything. Hmm. <laughs> I can just, I can that, flail like, you. I, um, I had, like, serious, a dear. With her. I think I gained her trust. <laughs> May I please have, um, do you have anything that's, like, an arrow would, would suffice? I, I, yeah, I'm going to bring her. Uh, all right, you, see Linares takes the arrow and she twirls it in her fingers and then just craw, brings it down on Thea. I couldn't use the foil. Oh. Come on now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you take three points of piercing damage. What's sheep HP? Uh, sheep P? I think uh, it's sheep 4. Wee. Well, Mr. Drew would figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can look. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Fine. I wonder if a sheep's actually in here. I don't think they are, <laughs> but I mean. That's what the internet is for. A goat's pretty similar. 4 HP for a goat. You're gonna have to stab her again. Lairs pulls the arrow out. I could have sworn that would work. Sorry, dear, one more time. God stabs you. You take another 4 points of piercing damage. And you are now back to being you again. <laughs> Uh, Thea, darling, you're so beautiful when you're not a goat. He's a sheep, but thank you. Oh, yeah, no. sorry. Right here in my book, it says you're a goat. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I love the idea that the party does not know the difference between a sheep and a goat. <laughs> and they just think they're both the same thing. Thea, you were saying blah, and you had fluffy wool. Of course you're a goat. What are you talking about? Uh, we should have shaved some of oh, it, yeah, and we could have made a shirt. Walls and cans. No, oh, goats do that too. I say well, goats that's and sheep are the same thing. Yeah, so. the exact same thing. Yeah. You're a druid. I don't know. It's last it's, time he checked. It says so on my badge here. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but he's <laughs> also a sorcerer. I love to think that Animus has it like sewn into his cloak, and he like checks it every once in a while. So. It's like it just says like I became a druid. <laughs> Yeah, am druid. I survived you druid school. With all these <laughs> yeah, druid merit badges. 
Oh Boy. my gosh. That's... I became a druid and lived to survive. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> see, idea. Um, modify memory. From what I understand, it will work as long as it's within 24 hours. So, um. Yes, but if I'm if I use a higher level spell, um, I can go longer than that. Hmm. Well, luckily we don't have to go much longer than that. Um, it's only been about an hour. But I think what we should do is see how she's feeling when she's awake, see what she thinks, and if um, if need be, we will use magical means. Um, but if not, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Well, until she wakes up, I am going to investigate the farm. All right. Make an investigation check. Oh. Can I perceive the farm? You said I want to investigate the farm. Right, and now I'm re-asking if I can just perceive it instead. <laughs> uh, you can perceive an investigation check. All right. Hold on. Let me roll perception. It's not going to be good. Now let me roll investigation. I'm adding guidance. <clears throat> I got a 20. Dirty. All right. What are you specifically looking for? I want to, I want to start gathering some mushrooms. Okay. Well, you so you're on the top of a plateau, yeah, and I, the mushroom farm is like down the. I the go hill. down the hill, and okay. then I investigate. Okay. Um, you see a few here and there um, that you can identify that would make certain poisons. Um, you see a few that are edible, um, that are used in like stews. Um, nothing that's really like super out of the ordinary. What's that electric um, one that they got? That the... it's it's like neon blue. Um, I want to check that it... one out. What does it do? <laughs> okay. Hey, during this time, uh, how many scrolls of haste can I make? Uh, we calculate what level is haste? Uh, third. So it's every hour is a level of a spell. So it's three hours per scroll. Okay. So uh, you're gonna have to sleep. Um, it'll depend on how long you guys are here, but I would say like low end one, high end three. But that's gonna be it's gonna determine it be determined by how long you stay here and how long you're not sleeping. Um, anyway, I'll ask uh, later. <laughs> Make a nature check. Uh, animus. I'm pretty good at those. I'm adding guidance anyway, because why not? Because, you know, of course. I got yeah, a natural 20. 20. If, Baldur's Gate, if Baldur's Gate 3 has taught me anything, it's that guidance is added to literally everything. If you can add guidance... Honestly, in D&D, &D, most people remember to just add guidance to everything, and I forgot for, like, a year, and then I re-remembered, and now I try to add it to everyone's rules. Everything. So. Alright, natural 20. Um, you pick off a piece of this mushroom, and when you do, as you're pulling it away, you see, like, an electrical discharge that goes off to the main body. Mm. Um, and you see, like, the mushrooms in the area all kind of, like, almost, like, stand at attention, and then they go back down. Mm. Um, as you're looking at this, it kind of tingles in your hand. You know how, like, when you lay on your hand and it goes to sleep? Yeah, it's got a little zazzle. It's kind of like that sort of thing, thing. Like you can feel your like the nerves in your hand kind of going off. Um, as you get it closer to your mouth, um, you can feel your tongue kind of go numb a little bit. I'm gonna do just a little baby amount. Yeah. Let me break a baby amount off. Just like we'll toss it in. Look. All right. You take three lightning damage. Okay. Just zazzes I mean, me a little bit. Just like, yeah, you feel your all your feathers kind of stand up for a second, and then they go back down. Damn, that your is, tongue is numb. That was kind of cool. Uh, that was kind of cool. <laughs> that <net. laughs> I <didn't> like that. <laughs> that okay. Um, for gameplay purposes, uh, if you were to make a potion out of this, it would be a lightning grenade. Okay. Um. Mm. That would deal, uh, depending on, so like for every mushroom you put in, it would do an additional d4. Okay. So if you put in 10, it's going to be 10 d4 lightning damage Darius. in an area around uh, the impact of the of the potion bottle. How big is this field? Like, are we talking hundreds of mushrooms? Like, endless. All the mushrooms. I want all of them. 
I want to start okay. stuffing every mushroom that is in this field into a... No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Hey, Darius. I don't know if he's still at the top of the... He is not. He is, he's gone inside. But as you go out, you see this large arm kind of come around, and you see this uh, figure swing around. Hello? Oh, hello there. Darius told me... Is uh, your name Joshua? Yes. Do you prefer Joshua or Josh? Well, are you and I friends? We could be. Well, could be is not friends, so Joshua is fine. Of course. Not yet. I was wondering if mm. I could... Uh, I'm I'm very into uh, mushrooms and plants and stuff like that. Mm. So I wonder if I could take a couple of these, these mushrooms, just like maybe a handful of them to uh, help with uh, some things in the future, maybe a little bit of research. Hmm. Darius said What's I could... in it for me? Oh. Well, Darius said I could do whatever, but I don't want to, like, take too many. I guess maybe... Uh... Well, you see, I have some right here. And you see him pull a satchel around, and he opens it up, and you just see, like, sprigs of these mushrooms. Hmm. I mean, do you... I, I don't want to assume what you know and don't know, but, like, do you know how to make potions with mushrooms or of course okay um is there something maybe i i don't know what i could i probably have some overland mushrooms i could trade with you so you could start growing them down here mm, doesn't work mm, they don't okay. grow down here okay. there's not enough sun right right I'm and nutrition and fauna flora and it's just not great the underdark mushrooms thrive off of the innate arcane energies and the soil down here it's very rich. Hmm. I'm assuming gold doesn't get you far. I could probably... Yeah, it gets you farther than you think. Do you have any interest in basilisk talons? Hmm. <clears throat> are they mushrooms? They're not, but they are basilisk. Then no. Okay. I research <laughs> mushrooms, my boy. Uh... So, how about this? I have a new potion brewing back up at camp. And you want me to test it? I need a test subject. Yeah. Correct! <laughs> I, I just knew <laughs> that that's what was coming there. So I'll give you the all of the mushrooms I've collected, which you do a quick count, Animus. It's about 60. Oh! So much lightning. I'll give you all of them. Uh, but you have to test out some of my brews. Yes. Okay, so how about... Every brew, you get ten. Yes. Very well. All right, I'll meet you up at base camp. He swings back around, and you see him just leap all the way up to the base camp. Shit, I don't have any freaking animal shapes left. I'm running up the hill. God damn it. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw for me, Animus. I'm going to slow down a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. 21. All right, so you... I keep running up the hill. Through your time as an adventurer, you've noticed that you've been getting progressively stronger, uh, both physically and mentally, uh, and you do crest the hill just mildly winded. I'd like to think that I crest the hill just doing like a nice, like, strong... Just a nice work. little jog, you know, just, just nice. Get to the top, like, whew. Determined, determined power walk. That was a workout. <laughs> uh... You cool. see, Joshua has pulled the cellar door open. R right this way, please. I follow him in. All right. Okay. And you see him kind of climbing through the eaves. Okay. All right. Pick your poison. I don't mean that they're poisons. It's more of an expert. Probably bad turn of phrase to use. Not gonna lie. But pick your your drink. Let me make sure I have something. Uh, Are you looking for like a poison cure? Or something? I have greater rest. I do have spell slots for greater restoration if needed. Uh, mm. what am I looking at, Jacob? What are these? You see a rack of potions of different colors that correspond to the colors of the mushrooms outside. Um all glowing kind of this like faint neon um and you see them lined up six of them in a row okay 
Uh, one is pink, one is blue, one is uh, green, one is purple, one is orange, and one is red. The rainbow, so to speak, except for pink is not. But anyway. Anzu, do you want to do you want to try one of these with me? Oh, I suppose I could uh, give it a little taste, a little tickle would, of the tongue. Would two test subjects work a little better here, Joshua? Ah, uh, well, it would it would show the different effects. So true. Why not? Two very different. <laughs> You're not getting double species. mushrooms, though. No, no. I just want I just want to involve my wizard friend here. Loves testing things out. He'll do anything, and he'll do it for free. Can I just cast? Uh... See here, identify on it. Yeah, sure. Which one? The pink one first. Uh, the one that I'm gonna have. The pink you get one. To choose. The pink one. Okay. Uh, the pink one. So you cast identify. Uh, this is a potion of confusion. So the way this works is anyone who drinks it will suffer from the confused status effect. Mm. Which is on the back of this book. Is in the back of this book. Do we want to uh. start with that one though? Maybe a different one to start with. I might be a confused as from the it, it, anyway, it's how the confusion spell works. Maybe the red <laughs> one first. The red this one is a good idea, <laughs> and then this. I want those yeah. mushrooms. I you I, do. Well, I'll have that one last so that I'm not confused when I'm taking the other ones. Joshua, are oh, you going to yes. like use something on me that gets rid of the effect so that we can... They shouldn't be that strong. But I could. Maybe. Eh, should be fine. I need to research the effects of the potions, so the more you're under their influence, the better. Um... <clears throat> Let's go with the red one first, then. I don't want to be confused the whole time. All right, make a constitution saving throw. Ta -da, no guidance. Oh, if I roll really well, is that bad? Or can I accept the effect? You don't know. Okay, well, this is going to be a 21. Okay. Um, as you feel the liquid go down your throat, it tastes disgusting. Almost like a cough medicine sort of quality. Ah, burgers and fries for dinner, guys. Let's um, go. Anyway. Can I have some? Uh, sure, you want to drive down here? Uh. <laughs> here, let me. Here. Here. God, that'd be so cool if Zach just picked a fry out of, like, That would nowhere. be amazing. Like, he just already had fries, but he never told us. We planned it, like, weeks in advance. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, my mom's calling me. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, no worries. Zach's doctor's calling him. No, he said his mom. No, I know. <laughs> Is his mom a doctor? No. Was oh, okay. Making a joke to the fact that he's so injured after playing 90 minutes of soccer. Good joke, streamer. Thank you. Tastes like cough syrup. Yes. So, you feel yourself kind of tingling for a second? Uh, you heal 2d4 hit points. Ah. Heal. Oh, I actually need that. So that's kind of nice. 2d4 hit points. Is it only 2d4? Mm-hmm. There's no plus to it? Nope. Okay, that's gonna be four hit points. How, how do you... How do you feel? Uh, you know, I had a cut on my arm that kind of, like, dissip dissipated a little. It felt like a health potion. Mm. I've drank a lot of those in the past couple of years. But, like, not as strong as, like, some of the ones that I'm used to. Like the ones you can buy in cities. <laughs> okay. Uh, Next one. And so you're gonna do one of these with me. Oh, you fucker. The green Give one. To me. Okay. Anzu, make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 18. As this rolls down your throat, you feel your throat kind of like, feel like it's getting blistered from the inside. You suffer 2d6 acid damage. 
Aw, uh, hey Jacob, I rolled a five. Oh, that's worse. Okay, so yeah, Anzu, you take oh, five fucker. points of acid damage. It's just a slight cough for him, and I'm about to, like, yeah. fall around. Uh, Animus, you take ten points of acid damage. God. Not anything much worse. But... No, that's not horrible. <coughs> was that one bad? That was a bad one? It felt like it disintegrated my insides. Hmm. Disintegrated insides. Hmm. Weird. That one was supposed to be a drink. Uh, it could be a good drink. Maybe just not for me. Hmm. Andrew looked mm -hmm. like he liked it a little more than I did. No, I didn't like it. It was pretty awful. Better for gnome constitutions. <laughs> Next one. Hmm. Uh, purple. Pur is purple an option? I don't know what colors you said. Purple's purple. an option. Daisy. Saving no. pink for last, so. All right, make constitution savings for me. Anzu, you want to do another one with me? No. Ah, uh, fuck. Guys, oh, I got ketchup 22. on my shirt. Rip. Twenty-two. Yeah, that was a good one. All right. So as you drink this one, you feel your senses kind of dull a little bit. Everything seems to kind of fade like the corners of your vision kind of narrow in um make a hmm make a wisdom saving throw oh 25 you feel yourself kind of teetering a little bit and for a split second you see something but you can't quite make it out and then it fades away and then you kind of come back to your senses in the area that you're at you know I think I may need to try that one again and accept it a little more hmm okay I try it again Jacob I will take a disadvantage roll on this one okay Give me a seven. Take another swig. Once again, your sense is narrow. And you see in front of you this large black door. It's kind of like by itself. Okay. I want to go towards the black door. Okay. Is there anything else around? Nope. I want to walk towards the black door. Okay, so you walk towards it, and you see there's, like, this brass handle on it. Do you want to turn the handle? Uh, am I doing this physically? Like, can other people see me doing this? Or is you have this, no idea. A, am I just sitting here? You have no idea. Okay, I turn the handle. As you turn it. For science. As the door opens, you begin to hear this cacophony of screaming that you have only ever experienced as being from you not from outside and just all of the screaming and torment as you f open the door the door flings open and you see just these strange like shadows that are shifting and every once in a while you see a face in them and then it kind of fades away and it just kind of swirls all around you like a swarm of bats and then you're back in the cellar. <sighs> Ooh. Where am I? So, how, how was it? Was I here the whole time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you kind of zoned out a little bit. Did I move? Did he move? He's, he talks to you, Andrew. Uh, he kind of quivered. Mm. Quivered. It's probably a good word, yeah. Shook, maybe? Alright, well, what I saw was a door... Trembled. Coward. When I entered the door, it was just... Nightmare fuel. Dark shadows and 
death, deathly Nightmare screaming. Fuel screaming. Mm, I can seems, tell that at parties. Seems similar to fear if you were to oppose yeah. fear on an enemy and with some sort of spell. I'm not here to talk shop, okay? I'm just I giving you the notes. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Drink the next one, let's go. Uh, what do I have? So I have red, green, purple. I'm saving pink. What are the other two? Blue. Blue? Yeah, I'll do blue. And orange. Blue it is. Alright. I hope this is the Zazz. Make a make constitution save throw. Give me some Zazz. Let's go. Nine. I'll drink orange while he drinks blue. Alright. Make constitution save throw. Animus. Animus. You take four, five, nine, twelve, fifteen. You take twenty-one points oh. of lightning damage. Oh, the Zazz. It's the Zazz. I got ultra Zazzed. Anzu, you feel your body begin to kind of shake. And then you feel yourself kind of, you look over at a space, and then whoosh, you're in that space. What? Oh, I like this one. What? <laughs> as you're, as it's like, and this is being tased. <laughs> this one I could get to your side. New causes. Zaz. Zaz. Electric, electric shock. Orange teleports. Oh, orange, good to know. I want to try the orange one. Oh, it's all gone. He drank all of it. Can you Sorry. make some more? Anzu, you psh, teleport up to the top of the cellar. God damn it. Life is good for me, Animus, you know. I wouldn't know what it's like to I'm be down there electrocuted. I'm still, like, shaking oh, it off. Anzu, you get down here and sh share that with me. You hear me? <laughs> All right, I need uh, who's who's drinking the pink one? I guess I'll do it since Ansu's way up there. <laughs> <laughs> Make Constitution saving throw. Uh, fifteen. As you drink it, you feel nothing at first and then you feel your muscles begin to constrict as you hear the blood pumping in your ears your adrenaline goes into overdrive and the only thought you can think gotta hit something oh god this is not what I thought it was going to be and then that feeling fades away Hmm. So what'd that do? It didn't really do anything. It made me a little angry. Anzu, you th I thought you said this was confusion. Made angry. Um, yes. I mean, you know, confused. Uh, you, you could be confused in anger. I, I wouldn't really know. I'm all the way up here. I'll drink the rest of it. <laughs> I down the rest of the bottle. Constitution saving throw. I will do it with this advantage again, trying to allow it... Well... That's going to be a 13 this time. 13. Once again, you feel your adrenaline pumping. As you are now under a barbarian rage effect. <laughs> I suppose it's a type of confusion. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Is there something as, for me to as hit? You're, you can certainly try. Well, is there like something I can hit down in this cellar? There's barrels and all sorts of stuff. I'll punch a barrel. Make a strength check. Okay. We'll say an athletics check. Do I get why not? advantage? What what's the barbarian thing for this? The barbarian thing is is that you have to hit stuff. Right. Does a barbarian get what does rage yeah. induce? Rage makes it to where you take half from slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing. And, uh... Oh, you get an extra attack, don't you? No, that's later on. 
that's that's part of the barbarian class. That's not oh, part okay. of the barbarian rage. Okay. You essentially get to where you like hit stuff and take less damage because your brain is like not perceiving the damage. Yeah, it's it's uh, twelve for uh, strength. You punch a barrel and you see a small dent kind of form in it. Like this? Yeshua is like, all right, field test, inconclusive. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then he flicks his finger. I need you to make a, I believe it's a charisma save. Let me double check. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Let's say you have disadvantage because you're, you're raging right now and you're not oh, used to it. Well, I actually rolled pretty bad there anyway, so. Oh, I rolled a natural 20 and a 3. That's going to be a 15 nice. still, though. Uh, you feel all your muscles constrict as you are put under the effect of a whole person spell. Okay. And then you feel the rage kind of leave your body. You suffer a <sighs> point of exhaustion. <sighs> Whoa. All right, so how did that feel? I don't know. I don't usually get that angry. Hmm. Felt like everything I was doing was filled with rage. Hmm. Weird. All right. Write it down. All right, as promised, and he throws you the satchel of mushrooms. Um, would you, uh, would I be able to use your alchemy station to brew some potions with this? Uh, certainly, yes. Uh, hey, Anzu, do you yes. know, do you make potions often? Can you make potions? Are you proficient with potion making or alchemy? Do I look like a cook? Well, enemies, I'm educated. All right, I'll do it myself. Don't worry. Uh, can I use some I of your college? Can I use some of your notes, uh, Joshua? Of course, yeah. Um, it's not that hard. All you really got to do is mash it up, get it in like a solution, okay. put it in a beaker. Put that beaker over a burner, burn that until it goes. Blah, 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 blah. Then put it in the sublimation. Then let it, um, let it, um, um, dilute, and then have it all bubble up, and then it goes, Whoa, and then it drips down mm -hmm. into uh, your potion bottle. All right, I'll get on that right away, and I all will right. now be doing that for a while, Jacob, with all of the mushrooms I possibly can. You said I can make grenades based on how many mushrooms I add to... So I have 60? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me do some math, and then you can go to the others real quick, and I'll tell you math what. Math is fun. What's the maximum amount of mushrooms I can add to a grenade? One. Max? Oh, minimum is one. Maximum is however many you want. So I could add 60 to a grenade, and it would be a Undo 60... It. 60 D4. Jesus. That's not too bad, I suppose. That's kind of insane. Yeah. Alright, let me let me do some math. You, s s other people do some stuff. I've, I've done my time now on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> do I have any scrolls of haste yet? Well, since you helped Animus with his little experiment. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, we'll transition over to the house. So, Zygon is currently on watch, making sure that Kara doesn't leave or, you know, do anything crazy. Um, Thea and Cirrus, you guys are in uh, what looks like a living room area, and mm -hmm. you see these small creatures that are kind of moving throughout the house. You see one of them comes up to you and has a tray above its head with a, a tea set and the accoutrement for tea and it places it down on the uh, on the table in front of you. Well, Darius says, uh, uh, Thank you very much, little one. Um, anyone, some tea. Um, I source it from the... Uh, the uh, hills um, at the base of 
uh, Zephra. Uh, strong stuff. Sure. Pours <clears throat> you one. Pours all of you one. Uh, so, Linares uh, informs me. Excuse me. Uh, Linares informs me that um, you are on your way to uh, Western, and then you got detoured with this Craghammer business, and then you got detoured with the Underdark business, and it seems like it's been at least six months. Um, but it's actually only been like three days. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's how D and D works. Anyway, um. So, um, I do not know what Linares has told you of my practices, or if I've even come up in conversation before. But I am, uh, I specialize in divination magics. Um, Linares has used my services to find, uh, Anzu when he was on his lark with one of his friends. Um, I have, uh, located lost pets, um... Weapons, armors, uh, other things of that nature. I've seen, I can see future events sometimes. Um, but the reason I bring this up is um, if, if what it appears to be with the zenith is going to occur, um, I have seen things that I think best be explored with the group that is um, most forward thinking. Uh, that being you. Um, Alright. So, um, also, Cirrus, you recover a point of exhaustion from this lovely tea. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what happened? I'll Google it this one. So, um, are any of you familiar with, uh, the effects that happened during the Zenith? Cirrus, you are 100% not. You're from the Feywild. <laughs> but... I've lived long maybe. enough. Is it possible? Oh, yeah. The Zenith technically happens every year. It's just that it's... certain Zeniths are bigger than others. Um, so the Zenith is, like, an alignment, basically. Um right. And uh, sometimes it's like one of the moons is aligned with Exandria or a moon in the sun or both moons in the sun. But very, very few zeniths, the entire cosmos lines up. Yeah. This is such one of those zeniths. Have I experienced one of those in my hundred and... No, no, these happen like every like 5,000 years. It's insanely okay. rare. No one living that isn't like unnaturally alive um, will have seen one. Yeah, okay. Um, so, um, the zenith uh, that is to come uh, is very, very rare. Exceedingly. To the point where um, we barely have any history, uh, pre-calamity that speaks of one. Um, but through my, um, diligent, uh, uh, conversations with certain, um, <laughs> beings and through my use of divination magics, um, I have seen a potential outcome. Um, The magical potential of the celestial zeniths is uh, immense. They have been used to create gods. They have been used to imprison gods. A lot of god things. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. But um, there is there is thought that the veil between realities fades when these zeniths occur. Um, and as such, I have seen disturbing things. 
Um, and then you see another one of these small little shadow creatures uh, come over and hand him uh, what looks like an old and kind of worn leather uh, journal with pages jutting out and a bunch of notes that appear to be in it. <sighs> one such of these I have seen is... Um, has to do with your friend Animus. Um, I believe that he is a key to all of this. Mm-hmm. Great. So, um, it's perhaps best if I show you. And he opens his book, and you see him kind of recite something. And this, like, holographic-looking display kind of comes up from the book. Almost like a TV. Um, <laughs> wh- whoa! Anyway, um, you see um, all of you fighting in this intense battle with a being um, that has shadow black wings that's kind of going, darting in and out and uh, fighting all of you. And you see... Um, you can't quite tell who it is, but someone sneaking behind Animus. And as the fight rages on, it just continues to get more and more chaotic until you see Animus get run through um, with a sword through the chest as someone kind of creeps out of the shadows and stabs him. You can't see the face of, of the uh, would-be assassin. But as you do, you see uh, as Animus is mouth lets out his final breath you see hundreds of these strange shadow uh, things pour out of his mouth and begin swirling in this large like tornado um, that is joining with others that seemingly have been created before and you see as this tornado coalesces and begins to swirl faster and faster a large opening opens up in the center of it and it gets wider and wider almost like a tear like when you tear um two pieces of cloth just this giant rip begins to form and you see on the other side a desecrated world um with very little vegetation very little animals you also see off in the distance of this vision a large uh reptilian like creature that towers over mountains um, yeah. And then you see, oh no, you see all of you being felled one by one. And as that is happening, you see what looks like the magic of you and everything around you beginning to be poured out and go through this portal into this other world. And as the magic pours further and further, you see everything around you begin to wither and die. You see your own bodies decay into nothing but dust as everything gets sucked in and you see this figure standing there with his wings spread out as he appears to be in the center of everything as this magical wellspring flows between one world into the other um, the vision fades the book shuts itself as you can see um, Animus is a potential key to all of this um, through other visions that I have received um, I can conclude only one viable option I believe that your friend Animus is a better benefit to the universe if he were to die and that'll be where we take tonight's break. Of course. Oh, of course. I just, everyone's got to kill me. I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh, <laughs> damn it. You just fucking wait till I find out about this in character. I won't like, metagame, character. but I will fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, All right. We're going to take a break. Uh, Zach's going to go get a new set of frozen peas. Uh, uh, and we'll be back in a little bit. We are back. And that's just my 
kind oh, no. of thoughts on abortion. But oh, oh no! Fuck I off! No way! I knew we were not talking about that. We were talking about One Piece. <laughs> anyway, hey, Caleb, you're allowed to cut that. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you trim that out. Welcome yeah. back, everybody. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. So, uh, Thea and Cirrus, you guys have just received this vision from uh, Darius. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the room hangs with thick, heavy air. Um, see the air <clears throat> takes a sip from her tea. <sighs> Can't ever just be a simple solution, can it? Well, I mean, technically, a simple solution is death, but you know, it is um, simple. Easy? No. Simple. I I have seen other outcomes. I will give you that, but most of them end with Adam is dying during the ritual and contributing to um, a bigger issue. Uh, I guess so to speak. Um, it's up to you. He's your friend. Friend is a loose term. <laughs> God damn it. He's complicated. Why do you go and make things so complicated? Don't make me out to be yeah, that yeah. guy. He's not, like the other, he's not like the other birds. He's not like other birds. <laughs> uh, fuck. Well, um, it is a lot to consider. Um, In terms of divinity, to... does it explain, does telling us an outcome somehow change affect the outcome? I mean, I mean, it's well, it it definitely might. Um, I find divination is uh, about half true and half guessing. So, um, it might not come to pass, but, um, I would advise that if you are to not kill Animus, you should put him in a very deep hole, uh, in a very far away place until after the Zenith. So, so what happens if we don't kill him? Well, as the vision showed you, they complete their ritual, and all of the magic and all of the life gets drained from our plane and transferred over to the one that they connect it with. I, I don't know which one that is, but... And if we do kill Animus, then none of that happens? Potentially. What... What was that creature... person... Oh, funny you should ask. Wait, what, do you mean the giant dinosaur? No, mm. not that one. I'm aware. The winged one. I don't want to think about that one. The shadowy being. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. What did it look like again, Jacob? I mean, it wouldn't... A I humanoid wouldn't. figure with large black wings made of pure shadow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, That's what it looked like. Yeah. I look over to Linares. Look familiar to you? Can't say it does. Um, I'd have to do more research. Um, but no, I can't. Can't say that it does. That's one reason why I was speaking to Cornelius. Um, I wanted to convene him, along with. Um, I'm not operating now other members to uh, potentially figure out how we could stop this or could um, preempt things to come. Feels a little hopeless. Mm. I mean, we didn't see like Shavira or whatever version of her existed. Like none of that. Nope. Maybe we kill her. Before. So that's a bird flying past the window. Oh no. Car, car. That was just Caleb being hopeful. <laughs> Animus is finishing up some potions. He's currently raging I, uh, out. 
I want to finish up the scroll of haste. All right, and so as you're walking back to the uh, estate, you sketch out one final sentence, and you have a scroll of haste. Thank you. You make it back into uh, you make it to the estate and go into the living room, and you see very sour and uh, dour faces on uh, a few of your compatriots. What's wrong, Thea? You know, if I could buy you the world, I could, but I, I can't. That's a true bad. <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard from him much recently, but no. <laughs> Fucking bastard. <laughs> Kill him. He's on another plane of existence right now, so... We're all a little busy. Um, yeah. I'm it's sure a little hectic. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Why do you look so somber, then? I look over to Darius. Do you like to tell him? This asshole. Um. As I said, it's easier to show people. Um. But, uh. Is he gonna I'm show me a picture of a dead dog? Show him? <laughs> no. Close. Just, uh, just Actually, rerun it. Rerun pretty close. It. Darius pulls out his journal, opens it up, plays you the vision once more. Um. Cirrus and Thea both make perception checks for me. Uh oh. I don't like that. Uh, Ninety six. Okay. Low roll. Is it different? Uh, it doesn't see. appear to be now. Oh. Seventeen. But you do notice a little bit more detail. Um, you see not only all of your compatriots, you also see Lochnar and Bronn there as well. Oh, oh shit. Both of them scattered against rock dead. However, you do notice one of Bronn's swords is missing. Can I tell which one? Uh, it is not one that you have seen before. Oh, he's been collecting without us. Um, but <clears throat> as you see Animus get run through, you notice the blade that strikes him looks to be of a make similar to, like, test swords that Bronn was making before he left on his journey. Um, similar craftsmanship. So... Mathis was the one who was going to... Do I know that? Yes. Okay. Mathis was going to kind of mentor him in that mm -hmm. forging situation. Mm -hmm. All comes back to Mathis. Always. Well, I mean, his brother is the big bad evil guy. God, the BBG. Sure. Um, <clears throat> watch there be one that we just... I. I he was just the fucking red herring the whole time. Um, I mean, in a multiverse. Yeah. That's how divination works. Oh my god, Bertie. That was <laughs> so, very sad. Suddenly a large dog comes in and makes cooing noises and loud barks. He chirps. Um, Chirpy chirps. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Zach, what are you using for an ice pack? Is that a bag of chicken nuggets? Frozen grilled chicken strips. Oh, nice. I was so close. I was nice. so close. I, I don't have peas in my house. I would... <laughs> no, vegetables are banned in Zach's house. Yeah, I don't I don't believe in vegetables. <laughs> like, you don't believe eating them or that they exist? That they exist. I, they don't. <laughs> Those aren't real. Those no, aren't I, have, real. I have been using... Um, microwavable like single serving packs of green beans mm. pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds and boom you're done <laughs> um. that was very sad but here Darius thinks the only way to stop it is to kill Animus the sooner the better um but again, your what? choice, your friend. Who's to say that wouldn't set off some kind of other version of events? 
Good well, question. Well, in the scenarios in which we do kill him, what happens? I cannot see that because that has not happened. Um, divination doesn't exactly work that way. Uh, I just see possible futures. I don't see the future in which you kill him because you haven't killed him. Well, maybe we should bring him in and, um, you know, just show him, uh, you know, so he doesn't think we're insane. He is on his way, I might add that. <laughs> He's currently counting how many tiles are on the wall. God damn it. But he'll finish that <laughs> soon. As I have said, um, it is ultimately your decision. And um, you have some time. Not a lot, but some. There is one other option, however. Um, Linaris and I have been corresponding for a few... Um, it's gotta for hurt. a little while now. It's gotta be painful. Um, and I am under the impression that a few other Kinku have been captured by the Five. Perhaps if you rescued them, things would be a little easier. Well, we've already lost one of them, which is the issue. Um... Well, they've just been haven't been kept. <clears throat> Assume that they're holding them for the zenith. Right. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I might be able to try and find them somehow. I mean, unless they're, you know, somewhere where magic is warded and I can't see, but... <clears throat> Uh, try to, you know, talk to Animus about it. I mean, I certainly don't. We should make a decision without him. That'd be a little oh no, Not shitty. A <laughs> just, just you know, an informative uh, session of things that may come. I'm gonna go that way. If you okay. want to come with me maybe not you know it's up to you really I, you know I, I i would i don't really know if i would be more comforting you know if everyone told me i should kill myself with friends or not with friends um, uh, maybe I'm we don't say it <laughs> no no i won't I, I yeah i won't say that i'll just uh, and we're not gonna be not we're not asking him if it's okay if we kill him well I, i'm not going to ask him if it's okay if i kill him But, you know, as a professor once taught me, suicide is always an option. About coming up with a solution. I mean, are there any solutions to this wise old man? Um, I don't know. Uh, divination is not a science. Um, it is a magic. Sorry, that's an old joke I used to tell when I would teach. Um, <clears throat> uh... There is a possibility that what I see is wrong, or that uh, I'm not seeing the whole picture. Um, I found that my magic is unable to see past the zenith. Um, which is also concerning. You haven't seen any outcome where it didn't fail. I have not. Which means That's every nice. outcome that I'm alive, he has not seen go past the zenith. Cool. Oh, <clears throat> uh, well, um, hmm. How close am I to finish with these grenades, Jacob? Uh, they're brewing right now. There's not a lot you can do past that. Um, mm. they'll be done in the morning. How many are you making? Where are you shot? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Okay. So there's, what, six in nine, and then... There uh, are... How many are in each? There are four 2d4s. 
four three okay. d4s, two five okay. d4s, and one thirty d4. Ooh, okay. That's fun. So yeah, that'll take until the morning. I want to um, see if I can get some of those orange ones that teleport you. Okay. Uh, make a nature check for me. As you're having to go down the hill. I'm just having fun brewing potions over here. <laughs> while all my friends are talking about killing me. I'm making these cool <laughs> potions for all my friends to enjoy during battle. Ha 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 ha. Can one I... Is... Go ahead. Can I, like, go somewhere a little separate and ritual cast commune? Ooh. Okay. Can I go back to Animus? He's currently down the hill fetching mushrooms. I'll go look for him. Okay. And what you got on your nature check? Uh, I got 23. 20. I added guidance. I don't know if I need to say that every time, but I probably should just in case there's rolls I have not guidance on. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Secondary DM Zach allows it all allow it. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you're looking around, um, you see um, a, a bundle of these orange, mu orange mushrooms that are growing out of the side of what looks like decaying wood. And as you get close, they disappear. And you see them about five meters away. Mm. And they... <laughs> disappear again and then there's kind of you see them kind of blinking around everywhere just show uh i assume he's still in here yeah how do you usually harvest these teleporting ones you gotta go where they're gonna be not where they are is there a rhythm to how they teleport make a perception check adding guidance 29. 29. Uh, yeah, you pick up a pattern pretty quick. They go in about a 5 meter radius. Um, and if you get close enough to them, it kind of sets them off in a chain reaction. And then... Okay, so I'm going to you... go to... So I'm going to let them kind of like run their pattern. And then I'm going to go to the spot where they will appear next. And I'm going to take one or two steps towards them. And then turn around mm -hmm. immediately and try to harvest them from behind make from where I was. A, uh, make a either athletics or acrobatics check. I'll let you choose. Acrobatics it is. Oh, you know, I'm not great in either of those. Uh, that's going to be a 15. 16. 16. It's going to be a 16. You reach out. You grab some. You grab four. Um, Joshua, uh, secondary question. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, know, I know this is a newer one of your potions, but uh -huh. does the amount of mushrooms you add to a potion seem to affect... Potency? Yes. Like, does it affect yeah. the length of the teleport, or how long it lasts? Uh, uh, I believe it's duration. Um, yeah, mostly duration. All right, I want to do that a couple more times, Jacob. I'm trying to get like, okay. let's we'll say, say you spend 15. about the next. We'll say you spend about the next 30 minutes. I'll get 20. Uh, then. Yeah, getting 20 of these. I'll split those up. I'm gonna do some math and split those up while you go back to. Everyone Just doing else. mushroom math. <laughs> All right, so Thea, you want to cast commune? Also, Anzu, right. you do stumble upon Animus as he's doing his little, like trying to grab mushrooms thing. Oh, hello, Animus. Hey, Anzu. You? you look so lively. Did you eat another mushroom? I... What if Anzu just kills him right now? I, like, uh, Hunter just... is that much of a wild card that, like... Don't you put it in his mind! Yeah, all no, of you shut the fuck up. Everyone here shut the fuck up. I cast Disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Counterspell. Oh, you know, I was just seeing how you're doing, but your power. Oh, I'm just collecting mushrooms. You see, did you get into more of them? Joshua, you need to oh. lock up your potions. And who got into them? You really do. Yes, yes. I do love you, Animus. Um, <laughs> not sexually, but um, you know, ever since 
we've met you. Uh, I'm lying. It's not really ever since I've met you. Maybe in the past year or so, there's been a connection. Okay. Uh, you know, I would I would take a non-lethal fireball for you. Uh, <laughs> very <laughs> a strong connection. Thank you, An Anzu. That, that and means a lot. If to that you. connection ever broke, I would come to your funeral. Okay, I'm I'm glad that I'm glad I would come to your funeral as well. I've kind of been to multiple of your <laughs> funerals. Or end of your life, so. Oh yes, yes, yes. Well, um, you know, tomorrow, why don't we go fishing together? Yes. Fishing in the Underdark. We're gonna have a a sticking beach episode in the Underdark. Are you trying to make oh. a new boogaloo cream? And there's some well, sort of uh, Underdark fish that no, needs to no, be added. No, I've to already it. made my boogaloo cream, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need fish or maybe... for? Maybe we could go play catch in the park or something. You know, what? It's your day. Whatever you want to do. Really. <laughs> All right, Enzu. We Why are you can do him that. Like a dog that can be put down tomorrow. <laughs> Ugh. He very well could be. All right. So as you a, might Thea, you as go a cast and... ascending to Thea. <laughs> <laughs> Thea, you you get into a uh, quiet room, um, and you cast commune. Um, so, you get three yes or no questions. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want to know? My first question is, is there a version of events where this world exists as it is past the zenith? Hmm. It's a pretty loaded yes or no question. Yeah. I was very specific, not just that it exists. Birdie. You say I'm clear, I'm gonna lose. Hmm. <laughs> well. The Moonweaver is not um, known for her divination. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure that's a little bit of it. <laughs> you could possibly. You get the sense that yes, there is a possibility of the plane existing after the zenith. Does that version of events exist in the last? Be better if you were asking the Raven Queen. Um <laughs> Yeah, no, there's no way the Moonweaver would know. Um you you get the feeling of uncertainty. What was that question? <clears throat> Is there a does the zenith does the plane still exist after the zenith yeah. if Animus is alive? Oh okay. Um, are the Kenku that have been kidnapped by the five still alive and be generally there still alive? Moonweaver doesn't know. Oh. God, she's so That's not her oh. domain, man. I don't, I didn't useless say it. I didn't actually think that was Abby. <laughs> that was Abby saying that she feels frustrated by her deity. <laughs> she would never. The Moonweaver is mainly for, like, secrecy, trickery, um, more... extramarital <laughs> affairs. Do yeah. all of the Kinku stolen have secrets currently? Three questions, man. That was Someone three questions. What are they somewhere? secretly alive? Are they, <laughs> are they super secret alive? If they alive? currently have secrets, that means they're still alive. Ah, shit, you right. You right. Not necessarily. You can take a secret to the grave. 
Yeah, but the Moonweaver wouldn't have- that would be out of her domain. That would be past the grave. So, big brain, Jacob. Big I don't brain think, I don't think that's as big brain as you think it is. Oh, it's huge. Give this one Caleb's to me, I'm dead tomorrow. Caleb, Caleb thinking he's a galaxy brain. I'm getting here. killed tomorrow and you can't just give me this one You thing. don't know that. Anzu is literally <laughs> loading a shotgun to put me down he's in a field. He's all yelling you right now. <laughs> he is Wait, taking me behind the shed. Out Am back. Am I able to see other deities? Uh, commune with your deity. Okay. You contact your deity or divine proxy. But, uh, Thea, as you think about this... There is one other person that you are currently bound to yeah, that was, that yeah, is that. sometimes called the Queen of Witches or the God of, of Witchcraft. The only problem is that which one. Yeah, you don't know which one it is, which Might means if you well. opened that door, who would step I through it? Know. Fuck it, one more time. <laughs> okay. You should ask her which one, or... You should ask it which one it is. That should be your question. Okay. I need you to roll percentage dice for me. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> and and I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, cannot sleep. I cannot drink tonight. Don't waste <laughs> your time on me. You're already. <laughs> the voice inside my Animus, Animus walking me. behind the shed tomorrow. That didn't sound good, Jacob. Don't say that. I miss you. Yeah, but you're the only one that carry any sort of tune amongst this group. Yeah. I don't know. I bet Hunter crushes karaoke. Wait, I want to do karaoke so bad. It's in my culture. I was thinking if we, if we, when we're all together down for Hunter's wedding, we could karaoke south. night. There is a karaoke bar. Oh, we're going. Yeah. After okay, 30. Tensions of drunk during Thunders the Dragon. In order to cast a spell, you have to sing a song at karaoke. Bard! Bard! <laughs> Bard! We get time. a point of inspiration for every song we sing. Oh, that'd be amazing. Just on the mic all, right. all night. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I rolled the 34. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Birdie oh, okay. is... Oh. A little upset. Going to town. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. She's having a great time back here. <laughs> Herbs. <laughs> oh, she's got a little scar, a little, little handkerchief thing. She got, we got her supplements in the mail to the party. <laughs> That's so loud, Miss Ma'am. She doesn't care. She's like, whatever, man. Do what I want. We got her supplements in the mail and they sent her a free bandana, so. <gasps> Adorable. She looks so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna ask the same. Well, actually, first I'm gonna ask. Who are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> speaking to Tasha. I don't want to say the other one's name. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. So now the DM has to decide what to do. feel like it's got to be a yes or no and correct. <laughs> it's not deceit. It's not a deceit. You, God. you feel... You feel kind of odd. Um, this connection is different. Whereas, when communing with the Moonweaver, it feels like you're kind of asking some otherworldly being and it, it feels kind of detached. When you send out this question to whoever it is, it feels like they're in the room with you. Um, it feels like there's like... You know that feeling when you can like six sense, sense someone like looking at you? It's kind of that. It's like, it's like someone's looking at you, but you can't quite figure out where from. If I were to like look around, I wouldn't see anything. You certainly can try. I want to try. You look around, no one's there. You, uh, <laughs> you hear back in your mind. Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Is there a version of events where this put where this unit? Where did I say this plane 
exists past the zenith? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> Here it comes. Here oh it comes. god. I just realized how real this is about to get. Is that still the case of Animus is alive? Hmm. He just doesn't want to answer this. <laughs> Hmm. This is tough, man. This is tough. High or low, uh, Caleb? What? Don't high put this on me! High or low? <laughs> Zach, as a gambling man, would I go high or you low? You just here? tell me, Thea. If it was me, I would go low. Oh. But was, that's just me. I was gonna go high, too. Well, good thing it's your decision. And <laughs> Jacob, I'd like to go low. Please tell me it's high. It's not. <laughs> it was a, I rolled a four. Yeah. It's gonna be you. Come on now. Uncertain. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Stick around. Are you though? No, I'm being put FBI, down. Yeah, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Hands is going to turn into what Mo was nice doing to me. Set of dice. Okay. Please, please give me. Yeah. I'll be stuck in the corner of the ceiling. God um, damn, Andrew's not Andrew's not tall enough to Spider-Man into a corner though. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the funnest moments in this group. So funny. It's good to throw in a little bit of chaos. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. As your commune fades, as you're trying to release it, you feel it come back. And now this feels more like a two-way conversation. And you, uh, you hear a voice in your head. Hello, dear. Hello. I see that, um, you've decided to embrace our little connection. I made a decision. And a what good decision it was. Mm. Well, I too have been dabbling in divination of the coming events. I have seen many mm. outcomes. Somewhere you win, somewhere you lose. Somewhere your feathered friend thrives into old age and others where he falls, where he stands. But what I can say is that without without friendship nothing can be accomplished. However, do you truly know who your friends are? Oh. Perhaps you should think on that. We'll be in touch. And you feel the connection immediately severs. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I have to throw a screwball in there like that. Okay. Oh, my friends are. Animus, so, we must make love. I'm at the moonlight. Animus and Anzu, you guys are both carrying mushrooms back up to up the hill. When we get back to me, I want to try something. I just want to let you know that. We are, we are currently back to you. Ah, okay. I would like to attempt to connect, if if uh, Joshua can come back, we can try this. Connect. Yeah. I have an idea to connect both potions so that you have a small duration where you teleport, and if you teleport through another being, an electrical current goes through them, electrocuting them. How devious. I would have to do tests. Uh, well, I will... I've got 20 mushrooms I have for the teleport potion that I'm already starting up, but I picked a few extra, both of them, exactly for oh. this moment. I will let you know in the morning. All right. And you see him, he, like, walks off, and you see, like, this rip in space appear in front of him, and he just passes through it, and then 
It closes back up. What the fuck? Fucking fiends, man. Um, actually, he's a demon. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> They're the same thing. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> uh. All right. So all of you kind of begin to gather as as you... The sunlight that barely creeps in from the top of this cave has long since gone, and only the only light you have is the bioluminescent fungus that's all around you. Um... You all are beginning to retire for the evening. Anzu and I are, for some reason, in the middle of this bioluminescent field together, alone. I don't know why. But I'm are you still picking mushrooms? I'm grabbing a couple, but he's just standing there. <laughs> Animus, look. There's a bunch over there in the field. I, I know, there's a bunch everywhere in the field. It's a mushroom. If Anzu farm. kills Animus, I will lose it. Which ones are you pointing at? There's blue orange. ones, pink ones, green ones, red ones, uh, orange ones, purple ones. I'm just gonna go get a few more of the mushrooms. Can't you see? Which ones? Uh, in the general direction he's pointing, but I I want to stick with the orange and blue so I can try to get this potion correct. Okay. I'm gonna uh, you know, and min him. Let me pick up. Stick my staff right behind your head. Actually. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to get a couple red He's, stick of for some Andrew's health potions. thinking about it. Okay. Okay. We'll say you have enough to brew like three. Okay. Ah, good old alchemy. I'm just having a nice alchemy session here. Just having a little fun time, just chillaxing. Yeah. This is so fun. What a fun session for me, Animus. Not me, <laughs> <laughs> Not me Caleb, but me, Animus is having fun. Me, Animus. El Brewing Enjoy it while it lasts. Shh. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> so after your after your uh, mushroom picking and harvesting, you uh, eventually make it back up to the estate. You, Anzu, Thea, Cirrus, and Zygon are all there along with Linares. Well, everyone, um, Kara is still asleep. So... Um, I will keep watch over her this evening, um, and then uh, I assume she'll wake up in the morning and we can discuss things with her. Everyone, please be careful. Um, we don't know what strange effects could be lingering after dealing with those members of Loth's church. Um, if you start feeling tingling, um, let me know. But... Um, I believe this is where we all say good night. Okay, good night. You see, she goes up into where Kara is staying. Lagon goes off into his room. It's been a pretty crazy day. I've been making all these potions down in the in the alchemy <laughs> room, and I think Enzu got in, into a couple of the ones a little bit too much. But you know, so just how are you feeling after coming back? That's our Enzu. <clears throat> How, how are you feeling after you know the whole? Ah, uh, you know I am. am I'm pretty exhausted. As you should be. Yeah, yeah. You did a good job, though. It's um. It's a, it's pretty scary when a member of the group gets that close. You know. Hmm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. If it was Anzu again, it would it would be uh. If it was Anzu. I'm not trying to make this about what you guys talked about. I'm trying to genuinely be animus right now. How do you know it'll be me again? No, I said if it, uh, you have had it happen a few times, so I was just saying. With Sirius, it's a little scarier because for some reason you're seemingly immortal to because death. Because you don't care about me, is that what you're saying? That's not true. I literally prayed to the Raven Queen to bring you back from death when no one else was around. Jacob, is there like, can I, can I, this might not be anything. Can I pull out my little jeweler's loop and kind of take a little peek at Animus? See if <laughs> anything weird shows up? You don't see anything. Hey, Thea. Okay. I think uh, Anzu's missing his son a little bit. I sidebar to Thea. He's been asking me to play catch a lot today and go fishing with him. <laughs> and 
I, yeah, I think he's just missing that fatherly bond. I know. I, I feel a little bad for him. I definitely want to see if we can try to, you know, if this all works out, maybe, uh, man, what is your son's name? Holy shit, it's been a long time since I we will, talked to him. I, 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 Jacob, I gotta kill him. <laughs> I, I, I gotta fucking kill him. He has two names. Yeah, he's One the, starts with an R. He's a silver dragon, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Richter. Oh, Richter, Richter, Richter. There Sorry. you go. There it is. He had to go in his mind palace and go through his mind oh. filing cabinet. What's Hopefully. Dick. Platinum. Wait, no, he's silver. I want to say, I keep wanting to say dragon. I don't know his dragon name. He's silver. Platinum. There's only one platinum. Yeah, dragon. that's why I said silver. I don't know what his other name is, though, is what I was saying. Isn't it like. I keep wanting to say Charlemagne, and I don't think that's right. You're close. Very close. Charladane. Charladane. Oh. Yes. The so silver dragon. I'm hoping we can maybe find a way to free Richter if, if this is some sort of hellscape in, on his mind, but I don't. Anzu right now really wants to play catch, and I, you know, as a family member, you may want to go do that with him. I'm still making potions, so. Oh, um. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be there. I'll help it out. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. okay. No catch was so serious nowadays, guys. Uh, <laughs> I know how serious it is for him. But... I'll be there. I'll be there when he really plays catch with you. Party, get out of the trash. Okay. Tra She's munch. <laughs> she really is munch. Are you munch? Or munch. You like to munch. She'll, eat, she'll munch stuff. She, she will. Um. Alright, so what's everyone doing before they retire for the evening? So I wanted to bring up a point that Zygon and I actually talked about with the group. Um, okay, everyone's gathered, so you should be fine. I So I'm going to say, me and Brady have talked about this off, off stream, and, and we talked about it on stream as well. But I'm going to say that me and him talked about it on stream, so whatever I say now, just imagine me and Zygon had that conversation. So, we are thinking, and we've brought this up before, and it's starting to become maybe a more serious conversation. We, uh, we go into the Nine Hells, or wait, no, we go into the Abyss, and we kill the demon that uh, I have a pact to because currently he wants me to kill Zygon and if I don't do that he's going to kill me anyway <clears throat> I'd rather die to him fighting and maybe possibly have all of us win that fight or at least some of us come out of that fight than just uh, leave it to him coming and killing me like he almost did last time you haven't been able to make <sighs> no um, we've seen the landscape, uh, of the abyss that he's in, and I could pinpoint that location. Um, it would probably take Linares and, uh, possibly Anzu to help with that a little bit, but for the most part, we could narrow it down to where we could, I think we're powerful enough to kill him now. And we would have to kill him in the abyss, which could also help Zygon, because Zygon... You know, there's a lot going on with his powers and uh, his contract, and I mean, if we are able to make it through all this, is it, like, I don't want him to get stuck with this contract that could mean the death of his family or something of that kind, so. Yeah. Here's the thought, I definitely though. think we should try to pinpoint Paid. We've got four weeks, just under four weeks, until Zenith. It's taken us about three days to come down here. We could probably go get out of here and go get um, the next, uh, what are they called, Jacob? The fancy weapons, the vestiges of divergence. Yeah. We could find another vestige, the one that's in the Grey Valley, and then from there, maybe try to start planning to go to the Abyss, or I just plan it with Zygon as we go and Linaris and we can maybe try to get mm -hmm. a portal there and kill 
him. Yeah. Definitely was think the, that's worth it too. Was the staff a, a vestige? The staff of loaf? Yeah. Yes, it is. I thought you said it wasn't. No, it's, it is a p. It's it has to be in order for them to do the ritual properly. It's a vestige, oh. but it's not one of the vestiges we ha we have been searching for on our map for us to okay. use. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it just so happens that we're going all over the place for vestiges right now. So, Jacob, do I remember like kind of like why? Like this is so long ago. So like. I might need if I need to roll like that's fine. <clears throat> like what Cran was doing when he was to summon the Baylor. You guys never really figured out why he was summoning him. Could be another good thing to check. What a, and what happened to Cran again? He <laughs> when you guys disintegrated or when you guys defeated him, he um, got encased in this weird metal and then like disappeared. Which we attached similarly to what happened to the big eyeball. Uh, my brain really not work right now. The beholder? Yep. The right beholder. Now? Most of the time. Yeah. The beholder and the vampire had very similar things that happened to them. Where they disappeared into some sort of object and then that then disappeared. I just don't personally understand what just the random Baylor would want with Zygon and all these other people. You know what I mean? I'm not sure either, and that's I mean that's one of the reasons why I, I specifically tried to kind of Birdie. outsmart him in a way slash I don't think he ever thought we'd come to try to kill him where we kept Tabitha alive quote unquote I didn't really have a chance with Navarne he just kind of he was accepting death and his punishment for death being a soul in the immortal eternity of the abyss as I mean he was stupid old <laughs> he, was stu he was stupid old and he crazy stupid old he lived a very bad evil life when it, it came to killing tons murder. of people so but I, I can't, obviously I'm not going to kill Zygon. And if the Baylor decides before the Zenith that he needs one of us, he's probably going to take that. And then I'll be, one of us will be dead anyway. So I'd rather just face him. And last time this happened, I think it was only a week or two that I had to kill Tabitha. And as soon as that happened, I mean, you guys remember, he showed up, tried to kill me, and then we had to go find Tabitha anyways, so... And this happened uh, four or five days ago is when I got the name on my arm, so might be hearing from him soon. Do I know much about, like, demon hierarchy? Like, Baylor's, uh, make it a religion check. Advantage, right? Yep. Actually, I do. This one, and this one. Uh, 17. 17. Um, Baylors are normally, like, the generals of the armies of the Abyss. Um, yeah. they are, like, second in commands to the Demon Lords. They're pretty high up. Is there any way to identify, like, what Demon Lord that this particular Baylor served? Um, for... Did you ever one, figure that out? At one point, we figured it was Fraz because Fraz told us that. He's he's a dev. Well, I mean, he's like one of the. So Fraz like is a, a demon a, lord. Fraz oh. is. So Baylors are demons. Fraz is a demon lord. This so I get so confused. As Modius, as Modius is a devil. He's the. One of the highest tier devil he's gods one of, in the Nine he's Hells. He's one of the leaders of the Nine I Hells. I think I've just had them backwards the whole fucking time. That's nine Hells is devils, it. Abyss is demons. Right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it switched who was in what. Yeah. 
here's a base here's now. also a basis story so because this has been three years so anybody who may watch this and not have seen the past three years of us playing this and is, i'm sure we've contradicted ourselves a few times this is the basics of what has happened i made the deal with the baylor and zygon already had a pact with uh fraz zygon started the campaign as a warlock yes uh, originally we were told i believe by fraz that and the baylor we both communed with them at different times for the whole story at some point but Fra uh, the baylor worked under fraz as one of his generals quote so, to our knowledge uh we then were told there was some sort of large war going on so we got a lot of our communications cut off with both the baylor and fraz what? for a long period of time um more recently zygon has also realized that grazit another demon lord in the abyss uh was part of the original contract so he's actually a warlock to a pair of demon lords and through there was this uh fox demon spy thing that we met uh probably a year and a half ago that told us that he was going to check in on the war that was happening but we never got in, any information about the war and grazit also confirmed in some way that there may actually be no war happening and we've been played this whole time so as of what we know fraz may be the baylor's overlord baylor should have been the general of fraz and we thought he was then going against fraz and trying to become more powerful but maybe it's all a trick and for whatever reason the baylor put zygon's name on my arm knowing that zygon is one of fraz's main people his that, main squeeze yeah there we go Backstory concluded. Very, very simple way of what has happened in three years of talking to demons. Almost four. Yeah. Well, I believe we're actually at four because we started the in day, September. Yeah. It was September 13th. It was Friday the 13th. Of yeah. It's crazy. <sighs> we're, our campaign is longer than like 98% of D&D campaigns Maybe that are run. Not. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I mean, if uh, if something were to happen, I mean, I'd rather one of us go down fighting than, like I said, just getting killed in my sleep. So, uh, mm -hmm. it would also free me of the warlock and allow me to become a more powerful druid for the final fight, and then I can be a much more useful um, ally and friend to you while we're all in the battlefield together. Good one. Caleb's face when he did that, he couldn't contain himself. <laughs> it's what Animus would say, but it's more funny that I know the other half of what's happening. That is true. All right. Well, we can go to sleep now. Okay. I, I was gonna say I go. I I. I do slowly well. get to bed. And I go to bed. All right. Okay. As you all kind of drift off to sleep, I need everyone to mute but Cirrus. Oh! No. no. I. Oh, wait, I remember I can't mute. I have to take my yeah, headphones off. Yeah, you have to take your headphones off. Yeah. Oh, God. There's the button on here. Gotta deafen the little headphones, Abby. The little headphones. I don't, I don't like this. I'm on my phone. <laughs> I don't have any buttons. Hold on. Cool. I'm almost there. You could just turn your sound down on your phone. I guess. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I all can't right. even go all the way down. <laughs> I can well, just, still hear something. Just block your ears. Hold on. I'm going to so, find it. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. So, Sirius, as you are sleeping in the middle of the night, I need you to make a perception check with disadvantage since you are asleep. Perception with disadvantage. Birdie. Oh. Okay. Done. Okay. 
You're woken up to the cold feel of steel on your neck as a faint drop of blood drips down. Who's assassinating me? <laughs> you see, looming over you, the young woman that you brought from uh, the city that you were in. The, uh, holding a... Her name's Kara. The, the girl that was crying? Yeah, the little sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She has a blade to your neck. She looks at you as you, your eyes dart open, quickly assessing the situation. Where am I? Uh, okay, uh before before I will I will answer your question. Can we? Can we? You feel the knife today? get closer to your throat as you feel more blood beginning to pour. Um. Uh. I tell her well we are in my bedroom in this place we're, we're like staying at somebody's house right yeah you're staying at Darius's house you're at Darius's house this is my bedroom how did you get in here I'm pretty sure I locked the door So she pulls the dagger away. She sits down <laughs> on the bed. So we're not in Spinneret anymore? Uh no. I where I where are we? I... Somewhere in the Underdark. You don't know okay. exactly where, but you know you're in the Underdark. Okay. And I said we we traveled a ways. Or is this where we like teleported to? Yeah. Okay. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. I assume we are not in Spinneret, 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 Spinneret. Mm -hmm. Um, why? Um, they, um, they'll come for me now. Who, who is they? The, um, priestesses, um, I overheard one of them talking, saying that they were going to use me as a vessel for, I guess, for loaf. Mm. And that's, that's what I went through, right? Yeah. So that was okay. Uh, yeah. Don't recommend that. Um, you're sister was one of the priestesses correct she was and they still want to use you i think they were lying to both of us the whole time interesting um well um Oh, there he is. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> um. Well, I I don't know how much protection I can promise. Um, because uh, at some point we we all, yourself included, uh, look out for ourselves at some point. I'm not asking you to protect me. What are you asking me, then? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, Always okay. gone again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Caleb. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I mean, would it be a good idea for you to leave the Underdark? That or might be that... my only option. Hmm. Um, we have, hmm. how, so this, this is ignorant Zach, not knowing how D&D &D works. Mm -hmm. How easy would it be to teleport from here to like the, the guild hall? Pretty easy. Pretty Once you easy. got the teleportation circle up, you could get there. Okay. Um, 
and like Animus and Theo know how to do that, right? Uh, Even Anzu and Anzu. Linaris, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so here is an option. Um, we have a guild hall in oh, that town. I'm on. I'm on. And. When 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 do you want to leave? Is now an ideal time? As soon as possible. As the longer as possible. I'm here, the more they are likely to find me. Right. Okay. So here's what we will do. Um, I I pull out like a like a piece of paper or parchment or whatever, and write down. Ooh. some sort of coded message to Ooh, all right here's what we'll do i'll write on this little piece, piece of parchment um uh, uh um uh give her the chef special and um uh... Uh, protect at all cost. And then I'll fold it up all nice and everything. We're going to send you to our guild hall. Give this piece of paper to... Oh, shit, they can't read. <laughs> Kobolds can't read. Fuck. But um, um, other members... Of but, the like, they, they would know. They would know, right? Like, like, possibly, uh, like yeah. um. Uh, fucking what's his name? Thea's boyfriend. Soph. Oh, Rupert. Even, Rupert's even... not there right now. Okay, so so Soph would be there. Yeah. He would know that I ordered the chef special. Oh yeah. All right, cool. He also knows your handwriting, so. Okay. Yep. Give this to Soph. He uh, he's he's like the the fucking elephant man or whatever, right? No, that's Garnash. He's a hippo. Okay. Soph is a tiefling. There, there's a there's a tiefling by the name of Soph. Give this to him. He'll know what it means. Okay. Um, okay. We will protect you. For a while, at least. Okay, yeah. And I give her, give her the this note. Sword. Thank um, you. And she hugs you. Yep, yep, yep. I, I don't know what to do with this. I'm like, uh, <laughs> She's like, ah. Thanks. Um, can I... Uh, so you said, uh, um, Anzu knows. Oh, actually, no, fuck it. We'll go to Linaris. Oh, she's probably with Anzu, isn't she? Uh, Linaris was supposed to keep guard over Kara, so you don't know what's going on there. Oh, shit. Uh, did, where, where is Linaris? Do you... Uh, I, I don't know who that is. Um... She, she's the, she's the scary one. That, that's with the, the little short guy. Um, she's asleep. In, in, in what fashion? In the magical way? Can, is, where, where is she? Is she like in your room? Is she, uh, she's, I think she's in the room I was in. Um, okay, let's, let's go back there. Let's wake her up. Make a stealth check for me. Oh boy. Um, question. Mm hmm Since I have two points of exhaustion, mm -hmm. do I have disadvantage? Yes, you do. Fuck. Uh, oh, no, you said stealth. Yep. Do, 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 where is that at? Oh, that is a... That was, that was a 17. Okay. Um... You make it to the room without incident. You see, Linaris is asleep, but it seems to be magically induced. Wake her up. Uh, are you sure? Yes, she. It'll be fine. Just so she snaps her fingers, and you see Linaris kind of look around, and she immediately is like in a combat position. Uh, time up. I like. I like step in between like her and Kara. 
Car's got a knife out. She's ready. You you put that away. This is fine. We're okay. You need to explain yourself very quickly, I'm, sir. I'm 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 on it. Uh, Kara here, and I kind of do a. Kara here is apparently being hunted by the priestesses. Yes. Uh, is that something you were aware of? Yes, I yes I assumed so. Okay. Just glad to have my suspicions. Uh, um, yes. So she is um, being being hunted. Uh, something about lying to her and her sister. So what I what I've done, what I've told her. I gave her this little piece of paper, this little coded message, for Soph back at the guild hall. Mm. Mm -hmm. Would you please teleport Kara here to the? Guild Hall. Hmm, relatively easy. Um, it should take me a few hours. We'll be down in the cellar. Down in the cellar. And I'll let you know once she's safe. Perfect. That's that's lovely. All right, dear. You better not put me to sleep again. Oh, uh, Kara. Uh, yeah. If if you put her to sleep, <laughs> we will find out, and. We will take you to the priestesses. Got it? Okay. As, as people from, from my culture say, capiche? Capiche. All right, lovely. Uh, thank you very much. And I turn around and go back to bed. All right. Ready. Did you hit your elbow? No. Oh, buddy. No. Buddy. Oh, Zach. Fucking I'm rough so... day, man. <laughs> oh. And I have to roll a new character. <laughs> and Sirius is dead. Uh, well, hold on. That... Hunter's not back. Uh, he's fine. He'll live. Hunter. 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 <laughs> Hunter. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. So, that's going to be the end of uh, tonight's session. So what happened? What happened with Sirius? I'm going to tell you. I tell you <laughs> I'm asleep. Yeah. Sirius is asleep. What are you talking about? I'm asleep too, but I know there's a <laughs> presence in my room. Still alive but barely breathing, breathing right, Caleb? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you next week. Uh, have a good week yourselves, and, uh, we'll see you Sunday.